here's the other uh, neat thing for listeners that have not heard Bill on our uh, when we've done the live shows at uh, at Zanies and uh, Rosemont. Bill has been gracious to take some time out of his day to join us over there. Um, I've told the story before, but it's worth sharing again to possible new listeners that haven't heard it uh, before. Uh, I was working at a record store in Naperville, India, uh, Naperville, Illinois, and Bob Odenkirk came in and told me I should do stand up comedy. And he said, in fact, this Saturday come and I'm doing uh, doing it at the, at the right here at, at the Sheridan in Naperville. I'm doing stand up. Come and watch it and see if the, you're interested in that. And I was like, all right, I'll, I will do that, Bob Odenkirk. So I show up and I walk in. And who do I see? But my high school buddy, Bill Leff, who I knew was doing stand up and was the funniest guy I ever met in my life. Oh. And I walk in and Bill's response was, are you on the show? And I was like, no, I'm not on the show. I'm just here to watch. And he's like, and Bill said, well, you should do this because you were the funniest guy I ever met. And so that combo of Bob Odenkirk and Bill Left telling me d- to do stand up is really what gave me the guts to go to Maryland oh. and do my first open mic. So, oh. um, yeah, I'm glad I had a hand in it and a ticket like that. Now you put on Bob Odenkirk, you and me. That's easy. That's an 11, maybe $12 ticket right oh, there. Easily over, <laughs> easily. easily over 10. Easily. No question about it. And Bill, I'll also tell you this. You actually uh, another thing that you did once there was a showcase at Zany's. Uh, HBO was coming and looking at talent and everybody was going up and doing their um, their best five to show how yeah. brilliantly, uh, uh, how great of writers they were. And the audience wasn't buying it. And you and, and by the way, I was one of those guys. I was like, I'm going to show them the fucking goods here. Here comes Pardo and his well-written bit about uh, the luge or whatever the hell I did. And um, you went up and you commented you were in the so in the moment about and, and again when, when i did open mics i was always in the moment and, but when i started making money i wasn't anymore and i was i was focused too much on my material and you opened up that floodgate again for me to show like just be in the moment and you were talking about how the audience wasn't laughing and you were talking about the the hbo people are going to leave here without anybody because nobody's doing their thing and, and i remember people in the back and maybe you don't even know this some people were pissed off like why is Bill shitting on this? Why is Bill taking the piss on it? And I, as a young comic, went, no, he's doing exactly. Show your personality. They don't want, yeah. they're not looking for writers right now. They're looking for personalities. And yeah. so, again, you were very instrumental in me really solidifying what I do. Oh, um, and so. Well, two things to that. Number one, I ended up getting free HBO for two months, which oh, was fantastic. Right I didn't expect that. <laughs> and number two, you became, if I can uh, return the compliment, you became the lead leaner, lead league leader in in ruling the moment. Like every time I've ever seen you since then, and not that that was a turning point, but in the last fifteen or twenty years, whatever is happening at the moment, that's the show, and yeah. that's the way it should be. Why right. wouldn't you do it that way? Well, it is for guys like you're me just that so good at write it. a joke, so that uh, that could be, <laughs> you know, but, you, know if, uh, you know, if I could, I would. But yeah, uh, I can't, so I won't. So I then uh, lean into the ball and take the uh, take first base. But um, I've seen you take audience members who say something that you don't like and tell them you you know you, it's time for you to leave. We don't need you here to yes. rule the show. Scram. And I just go. That's so perfect. Uh, that's well, I great. can't wait to get back on the live stage and do that again. And hopefully, that'll happen in twenty twenty three. That's what very we're soon. <laughs> Can I tell you a weird coincidence? Uh, one of my two co-stars on the show, there's a, a girl on the show named Leela Gorstein, who is the closest to Andrea Martin that anyone's ever seen. She's like the next generation's Andrea Martin. She does so many great characters and she's so talented. And the other guy on the show is an actor named Kevin Fleming, who's a great writer, hysterically funny, also does great characters. He hails from a town called Oak Forest, Illinois. Wait a second. Another one? Yeah. Yeah. So you're from there. I'm from there. Kevin's from there. It's so strange that Oak Forest is becoming the Hollywood of the Midwest. Wow. Um, (laughs) And have you, to that point, Bill, have you been asked to go back to the high school and give a speech at graduation? Or are they still sticking with the I've been asked not to. (laughs) (laughs) to hear the whole conversation subscribe for free on apple podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts or visit nevernotfunny.com